Knights of the Great Legion, this is Master Max City 8, and today I'm going to be playing another Creepypasta game, and this one wasn't sent as part of the Creepypasta game challenge, it's just a Creepypasta game that a lot of people have been talking about, and apparently it's one of the best Creepypasta games of all time, you know, a lot of people use that in their titles, like, best Creepypasta game of 2015, or best Creepypasta game of all time. I don't know about that, usually those people like to use those kind of titles, like best game of 2015, or uh, scarier than Finance at Freddy's, or things like that just to make you click on the video. Me personally, I'm not gonna use a title like that, first of all, uh, because I don't know if this is gonna be the best creepypasta game, but there's only one way to find out, and that's for me to shut the fuck up and play it, so let's go ahead. This is Pacman.exe, ladies and gentlemen, and let me put my headphones, jeez! Okay, give me a sec, I wasn't ready for this. My body wasn't ready. Uh, so far, so good. We've only got one ghost, as far as I can tell. And it's pretty dark. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I I'm just going all over the place. By the way, I suck at Pac-Man. You know, back when I was a kid, I wasn't playing Pac-Man. I was playing Mario and shit like that. I was playing Mario games. Um, I was playing a lot on the Super Nintendo and the N Nintendo 64. Oh, God damn it! He got me. He got me. I'm sorry. I, I know the ghosts have names, so... I, I, I forget his name, so I'm just gonna be calling him the Blue Ghost. The Blue Creepy Ghost, and... I, if there's one thing I can say about the game so far, is that it's definitely creepy. Alright, it may not be the best creepy best game of all time, but... It sure as hell is creepy. Um, so if that isn't the best creepy best game, then what is? You know what? I'd have to say Sunky.mpeg. I don't know if all of you knights saw that game before. It's basically a parody of Sunny.exe. Uh, and I don't know if everyone would count it as a creepypasta game, but to me, just the style of the game and just the creativity of it was just amazing. So Sunky.mpeg is always going to be one of my favorites with Round2.exe. And Round2.exe was one of my favorites because it, it, it had a good ending for once. Okay, there we go, level 2! Uh, the game is glitching out even more now, and, uh... So far, so good. I've got another game, and we've got the red ghost that showed up. I don't know what's the deal with this guy. The, the blue ghost seems to be... Ooh! Minding his own business up until now. Uh... What the, what the hell was that? <laughs> There's a lot of sound effects that are a bit irritating. Might mean that one of the ghosts is close to me. And no, they're actually pretty far from me. Anyway, so far so good. I'm just gonna continue to try to reach... I don't know, I think the game doesn't end. It's like some sort of uh, rum of Pac-Man and... Oh, shit! Shit, stop following me, you son of a bitch! I, I think it's just like the original Pac-Man game. The game doesn't end, so I'm gonna try to reach... I, I, let's say level 5. I'd be happy with that. I'm gonna try to reach level 5. There we go! Level 2 completed! Uh, I didn't lose one life, so that's a good thing. If I can keep that up, it's definitely gonna help me get to level 5. Um, and how many ghosts were in Pac-Man? That's a question I couldn't answer. I think there was four of them. I know there's a pink ghost. There's... isn't there a green one? There's an orange one! The orange ghost was just... what the f... This guy's just appearing out of nowhere. Good luck dodging him. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, if I reach level 5, I think all the ghosts are gonna be there. Could be wrong, like I said, I'm far from being an expert when it comes to uh, Pac-Man. Wasn't of my time, you know. <laughs> what the hell is up with the red ghost? He just sprinted right in my face, or actually, he sprinted right in my ass. So, uh, I gotta be careful about that. I didn't know... What he, what he was, what was the deal with him, but uh, all the ghosts have special abilities. The red one, as I found out, well, he just sprints right in your face. Okay, now I'm playing ter terribly, I have to focus. So I'm gonna shut the hell up, I'm gonna focus on this thing. I gotta, I gotta make it level 5. That's, that's my goal. And that's asking a lot of me, because I'm really terrible at Pac-Man games. Level 3 completed, thank god I didn't lo lose one more life. Um, and yeah, the, the fact that all the ghosts are so unpredictable uh, is what makes the game so hard in my opinion. 
So now we have the orange ghost that appeared. Which one is it gonna be this time? Is it gonna be the pig one? Like, that's the only one I'm thinking of. <laughs> the only one I remember. I love to call her pink, man. Pink power. Pink power. Oh, here we go! Here we go! The pink ghost is right there. Uh... It's going right through the walls and it's appearing and disappearing. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, these ghosts just don't follow the rules. These ghosts, ghosts don't give a shit about the rules of Pac-Man. They're just doing whatever the hell they want, so... If you're not that good of a player when it comes to Pac-Man yourself... Good luck with this one. Good luck. Good luck, cuz... It's like Pac-Man on crack or Pac-Man on... On LSD or something, everything goes, folks. There's no rules when it comes to this version of Pac-Man. Okay, thank God, and I think that the green ghost got me at the end there, but it didn't count, so... I made it to level 5, that was my goal. I, I Mission accomplished, as far as I'm concerned, and now the whole game is disappearing, like, what the fuck? I, I, I'm not even... I, I, I can go everywhere, I, I, I can break the rules too, so that's great, I guess, but... I think it's only gonna make things even harder for me. Damn it! I'm going all over the place! I'm trying to focus on getting the pellets, but I'm going all over the place. It's definitely not helping me. And I can't see shit. I can't see sh What the hell was that again? Is that the red ghost? I think it is. The one that annoys me the most so far is the pink ghost. It always seems to be where I'm- where I'm at. It's- Fucking annoying. And the game is glitching out, by the way. There's a bunch of su subliminal messages being written as I'm playing this. There's two pellets I missed down there. I'm gonna go get them. There's actually three of them. Some other pellets there. Man, if only I could see. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, of course! You got me. You got me. I mean, look at that! Uh, where are the pellets at? Ah, oh, the pink ghost, of course. It had to be the pink ghost that would show up in my face again. Okay, now I don't know how I dodged them here. I was playing like a real pro for once. And I think... I, I hope the remaining pellets are all here, but the red ghost is kind of blocking me and being an asshole. Because I think the remaining pellets are up there, up in the right corner. That's where I'm... Tr I fucking start the, the level and, and I get killed in instantly. Are you kidding me? You fuck! No, I'm not playing again. Fuck you! I got killed twice instantly by. I, I'm not even sure what happened. The second time, I'm not sure. The, the, the first time, it was like an orange ghost or something like that. Maybe it was the green ghost. And the second time, he just started spinning. And he fucking died. But I reached level 5 like I wanted. I could have reached level 6 if it wasn't of those fucking stupid deaths. So... That's it, folks. Pacman.exe. Really interesting. Extremely challenging if you thought the original Pacman game was too easy. Well, this is the game for you. Uh... <laughs> And it's really well made too, a lot of creepy effects, the game is extremely creepy, the ghosts are just all over the place, so good luck dodging them. And, uh, really well made. I wouldn't say that it, again, I wouldn't say it's the best creepypasta game of all time, definitely creepy, definitely scary, really original, I like the concept, but, uh, me personally, for just the goofiness and the style of it, and all the different jokes that were used in it, I, I gotta go with Sunky.mpeg, if you can consider it the creepypasta game. It's more of a parody, but still, creepy creepypasta-ish, sort of. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't say it's the best one, but it's definitely uh, in the top five best creepypasta games of all time, if you want. Um, so that's all, that's all, folks. I hope you enjoy this. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Join the Great Legion. Try the game yourself. Uh, you don't even have to download it. You can play directly from Game Jill. That's what I've been doing myself. And uh, make a video about it. You know, this game deserves much more love. I know a lot of people played it. Again, I'm really late uh, when it comes to playing a game. I know Luigi Kid, Risk Rim. Some ordinary gamers, I think, also played it. He, in fact, he was the guy that said it's the best creepypasta game of all time. Uh, so, yeah. Um, you can play it too. And I would see guys like Markiplier, PewDiePie, and Jacksepticeye play this thing too. It's really a great game, so... 
Again, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shut up, let you go on that. Thank you again for watching, and with that, as always, take it away.